What is up everyone, my name is Jesse and this is the auditorium where I react to video game music as a musician myself. Today is a Platinum Patreon request for Turn Arclight. This is a new game on the series. So Kaigi, the game, and the song is called Frequency. Hopefully I'm saying that right. This is actually Square's first 3D action game apparently. That's interesting, I've never heard of it. And what I found interesting is that the composer and the what was it, the developer? Let me see really quick. It was the composer and the designer is the same person, Hiroki Kikuta. That's interesting. That lets me know that there's gonna be a little, like, probably some attention to detail. But um, yeah, I have no idea what this is. Kind of a shorter song, only two minutes, two and a half minutes. So let's listen to Frequency by Sukaigi. What year was this made? Bass solo? That was so amazing, and yet, I don't know what to say. I'm kind of like frustrated that like I couldn't gather because at some point you hit this like normal human <laughs> frequency where you just kind of tune out, you know? At the end of the day, yes, I'm making videos. Yes, I'm making content. I hate that word. Yes, I'm aware of what I'm doing is entertainment. But you have to remember, at the end of the day, I'm still experiencing stuff for the first time personally, myself. So you're getting something out of it. I'm getting something out of it. And for me, um, music has clearly, obviously, always been a huge deal in my life. I always dissect it and just listen to all these little things and nerd out over it. That is all I have. I'm sure as I'm talking and begin to ramble as usual, things will start to come in. And But as of right now, I was like, man, that is like what I listen to. Like I, I can listen to stuff like this all day, all day to focus, to walk around. You know, I've been taking a lot of walks around 
and this is like perfect you know really opens the mind clears like all the pores and just <clears throat> musically it's it's kind of like a like a massage to me it just kind of like caresses different parts especially your ears <laughs> um very straightforward musically but also complex right very big on the rhythm boom 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 boom, boom. lots of lots of bass thick bass to me I'm no bass expert, but to me it sounded a bit like a Warwick bass. There was kind of a hint of jazz and a little bit of flamenco, but not quite, because flamenco is flamenco, right? Flamenco is just the nylon Spanish guitar, but it's also typically just the guitar by itself. So no bass really accompanies it or drums or anything like that. Actually, if we're getting really deep into some like Jesse lore here, um, how long ago was this? Oh my God, it's been almost 10 years. Oh. You know, a, a while ago, I've been playing, I've been playing like, like solo nylon guitar for like a decade now. Um, I've been playing guitar for like almost 20 years, but that style of the finger style of nylon for like 10. Anyways, um, there was a point in my in my life where I wanted to really like create a band or like a like a like a um, a two piece band where it was like kind of combining like cla like classical finger style flamenco hybrid type of thing, even maybe even some reggae a little bit, uh, like instrumental guitar but with a drum set, like a live drum set, and maybe a bass. Uh, so it'd be three people actually, eventually. But I always thought I'm like, that sound doesn't really exist too much. I know it wasn't gonna be like unique to the world, but I'm like, it doesn't exist too much. And I feel like if we just heard it, I think everybody would like it. <laughs> Cause it's just like, it's just one of those types of genres that like everybody could like. And this was like that. It reminded me of like that vision I had back then. You know, I we I did meet someone and we made like a couple songs. Well, it was basically my songs that he just like made drums too. And it's I've been telling you it was like the it was like whoa dude like the world is not ready for this seriously. And it didn't work out. You know, stuff happened. But it, it was I'm not making this about me by the way. I'm not trying to like promote anything or. You know, that, that doesn't exist. I'm just saying it was like, I was trying to bring it into fruition. But I'm saying that this reminded me of that, of that kind of style that I feel like the world is lacking. And that's just kind of these like hybrid genres that you normally wouldn't hear. And yeah, that's it. I was just enjoying the song a lot. It reminded me of a lot of things. It reminded me of a, uh, a group I really enjoy called Gelka, and the song is called When You Gotta Go, You Gotta Go, and um, I'll put that in the description if I remember, or not the description, I'll put it in the pinned comment if I remember. As far as this, I mean, look, there's this, there's this weird, I don't even know if it's weird, but there's this aura that surrounds, let's call it a blessing. There's a blessing with square. Square games have insane soundtracks. And you know what's funny is the first thing I thought of when I heard this, I was like, this kind of sounds like Chrono Trigger a little bit, which I love as well, the music. And also Square, you know. I feel like Square just... I, I don't know how the, all their games are. Some of them may be bad, but for the most part, I'm pretty sure they're highly praised. But I can tell you, like, like all their music delivers in, like, every game. So whatever this game is, which, how many views does this have? This has 500 views from 12 years ago. That is a crime. You see what I'm saying? This doesn't really, like, I mean, obviously we're talking about a game here, which, of course, is an underdog. But like, it's the things that like, we don't know that's out there that are some of the sickest shit. You know, like this is definitely a song that I would just listen to on my own time. 
and it's from something I've never heard of, something probably a lot of people haven't heard of. Maybe it never made it to the States, who knows? But it's a, it's, it's a diamond in the rough. That was a great song with a great energy to it. And I really want to hear the rest. And remember what I said at the beginning, I was like the designer and the composer are the same person. So there's going to be like an, like a love to it. And yeah, there was a love to it. There wasn't just like this program sound. It was a heartfelt sound. It was a designed world sound. So I'm extremely, I'm not going to say curious. I'm going to try to not say that. I'm, I'm going to be extremely inquisitive. If you've experienced this game or know about it, let me know more as always, because you know, it's, it's fun to deep dive, but I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm not, I don't have high hopes. I don't think this game has a big community. I have no idea. It just feels that way. I feel like this is just going to be one of those things that people discover with me, which is great. But this is your time to shine if you have experienced this game and you always, you know, you know what, you know what that is? That's, that's such a, that's such a treasured feeling that there's probably someone out there in the world out of all 8 billion of us that they've been waiting for like this kind of moment. They're like, oh my God, someone's doing Sokai? Is this real? And they're like, I've always wanted to. You know what? I, I, I relate to you. There's, there's this thing that's kind of a common theme. A lot of people, it's, it's no news or hidden thing. But for me, like one, I have many, but one of the biggest like relatable things for me was like Ape Escape. I talk about Ape Escape a lot. The game was really revolutionary for me and the soundtrack was just as much. Um, I always felt that my whole life. I was like, I wish I can just tell someone about this or like, you know, without me sounding weird. But that's kind of the feel. Like if, if remind you, the reason this whole channel exists and this whole content and series exists because I wanted to see other people experience that soundtrack. And since it didn't exist, I then filled a void I felt that was there where I'm like, wait a minute, there's so much music that I haven't heard. So in a way, we've come full circle. In a huge way, actually. So whoever's watching this and has played this and is, you know, excited to talk about it, just know that I relate to you and you know, it's, it's a really nice feeling to have someone listen to you and this is probably the closest you're going to get to share this with someone and you've been having this in your back pocket all these years. That's how it feels to me. That's how just about every video that I do feels, you know. these Every request I get has a story, every whatever, etc. right? But I think it's like the really small games and stuff like that that really you know have these just kind of like magical stories attached to them so that's what i got uh it's a lot of feeling for <laughs> two two and a half minutes of music <laughs> but that's why i love music so much and why it's so it's just a big relatable group of notes that makes noises that we get to enjoy it almost makes no sense. Music almost doesn't make sense. It's like its own language that we all understand, yet... Like, think of, think of it that way. Like, all these people in the world that speak all these different languages and we can't even communicate with each other. We can, like, come together with music. I've always found that so fascinating, right? I can go to the other side of the world where someone does not speak any of the two languages I speak, just stare at them, play a song, and we can both probably have a similar like reaction to it, you know what I mean? And that's like a, whoa, like we feel like a big gap that was originally there now it feels a lot, like a lot more bridged. I am rambling the f, f off right now. But I've had a lot of time to think, I've had a time away from BGM. So my brain has, I feel like it's just... Anyways. Frequency, <laughs> great title, <laughs> by uh, the, from the game Sukaigi by Hiroki Kikuta. Awesome, thoroughly enjoyed. <clears throat> and uh, 
yeah that's it just put me in a good mood thank you to narclight for that you've always delivered if you want to do the same thing you can do so on patreon or paypal you can request that way either are totally fine if you do not mind waiting there is a big wait list big big wait list but there is a way to prevent that, and that is the Platinum tier, which Turn Arc Light here is a part of, and it skips you all the way to the front of the line. So basically, if Turn Arc Light was not a part of the Platinum tier, I wouldn't have done this request for, let's say, about a year. I know that sounds crazy, but at the same time, you have to remember that I've only been doing this for a year, and my channel kind of like blew up. So I went from having nothing to do to having too much to do. And in that time, thousands of people want me to, sh they wanna share something with me, which is super humbling and means a lot to me. So even though I do these every day, all the time, uh, I feel like each one of them is individualized and I, I just, I don't want people to think that I ever wanna get like robotic with it. It's just, they, each each video is unique to me because they all are different. They all bring me different emotions, different things, and it just makes me feel like a human being. <laughs> I'm rambling so hard right now, but it's just there's just something that I, I just I feel that the re the reaction side of YouTube and content creation in general has such a bad rap, and this stigma is the best word I can think of it because it's just it's just not real. You know, there's just a lot of you can tell. I mean, if, if you're any good at uh, reading people's faces and just kind of like observing, you can kind of tell when someone's being like not genuine. At least I can. So it, it means a lot that uh, people acknowledge that, that, that they see that I'm just a normal dude and I just enjoy these things. Anyways. <laughs> This is a two minute song, what happened? I've been talking for 18 minutes, what the hell? <sighs> I just wanna let you guys know that I appreciate you all and uh, I don't do this every video. <laughs> it's just, like I said, every video is different. Something new comes in, my brain starts rambling. I remember, what did I say like 10 minutes ago? I'm like, I'm not gonna have anything to say. <laughs> and as soon as I start talking, things just develop. The auditorium is a, uh, the auditorium is just literally a, a euphemism for my mind. And you guys are getting a glimpse of what goes on in my brain every day. <laughs> I need to stop this video. Uh, a big thank you to my uh, Platinum supporters on Patreon. Justin, Kevin, Patrick, your average metalhead, Shadow Maxim, Vanadil, and Turner Arclight. Thank you all so much. Thank you for all my supporters here on Patreon. Thank you to you for watching. Cause I'm, you know, I just have a feeling this video is not going to get that many views and the people that are watching this, you guys are the real ones. So until next time, dudes and dudes, <laughs> my name is Jesse in the, the auditorium. Take it easy. Peace.